flow calibration. Observe the outer surface of the model. If the extruded filament does not adhere or there is excess filament overflow, check whether the nozzle is worn and whether the nozzle diameter set in the slicer matches the actual nozzle used. If there is no problem with these two items, a flow calibration is required for the filament. Flow calibration steps. Before calibration, select the filament parameters. It is recommended to use the same type of official filament as a reference. For example, third-party silk filament can choose CR Silk. High-speed PLA can choose Hyper PLA. This can minimize other parameters that need adjustment. This video uses Hyper PLA as an example for explanation. 1. Set the flow ratio to 1. Open the filament configuration management interface. Go to filament, basic information, find the flow ratio. Change this parameter to 1. Click Save As. Confirm to save as a user preset. Close the filament configuration management interface. Tube course adjustment slicing. Click the arrow icon in the upper left corner. Click calibration, flow rate, pass one. The software will automatically load the flow calibration model. Click slice plate, change the display mode to flow. You can see that each block has a different printing flow. Click Send Print and wait for the model to finish printing. Dreeb Observe the Course Adjustment Model After the model is printed, observe the top surface printing effect of the model. Observing the block in the upper left corner, you can see raised lines on the top surface indicating that the flow ratio for this block is too high. Observing the block in the lower left corner, you can see gaps in the solid infill on the top surface, indicating that the flow ratio for this block is too low. We need to find the block with the best top surface printing effect. For example, in these blocks, the 5 block has slight overflow and raised lines, the zero block has a relatively smooth top surface. The minus five block still shows gaps on the top surface. Therefore, the zero block has the best printing effect. Remember the parameter zero on top of this block. Four, fine adjustment slicing. The slicer will return to the preparation interface. Delete the course adjustment model. Click the arrow icon in the upper left corner. Click Calibration, Flow Rate, Pass 2. Click the block with the best top surface printing effect from the course adjustment. Click Discard and the software will automatically load the fine-tuning model. Click Slice Plate as Send Print and wait for the printing to complete. Five observing the fine adjustment model. After the model is printed, observe the top surface printing effect of the model. Find the block with the best top surface printing effect. Remember the number minus one on top of this block. Six, calculate the final flow ratio. Here, set the flow ratio before course adjustment as M, the best value from course adjustment as X, and the best value from fine adjustment as Y. The final flow ratio is Z. The calculation formula for the final flow ratio is Z equals M times 100 plus X times 100 plus Y divided by 10,000. Fill in the best values from course and fine adjustments into this formula to get the best flow ratio. 1 100 0 times 100 to 1 divided by 10,000 equals 0 0.99. 7. Set the best flow ratio. Open the Filament Configuration Management Interface. Go to Filament, Basic Information. Find the flow ratio. Enter the best flow ratio, 0.99, and click Save. 
Now the flow calibration steps are complete. Enter the Wiki official website to find more information.